SETI Astro Suite, The Definitive Guide, Part 1. Download and Basic Navigation. Welcome to SETI Astro. Okay, first, downloading. Go to SETIastro.com. This is where I'm going to have all my uh, programs. I have, you know, PixInsight scripts and a whole bunch of stuff. But under Astro Programs, there's going to be both Cosmic Clarity and SETI Astro Suite. So you're first going to want to get SETI Astro Suite. Click on that. It's going to take you to the, the next page here. And there's going to be a button for Get It Here. There's also a note. Be sure you still download Cosmic Clarity as SETI Astro Suite is just an interface for it. When you click Download It Here, it's going to take you to a GitHub repository where it'll have all the previous versions of SETI Astro Suite. So you're going to find the latest release right at the top. And there's going to be various OS based releases, whether you have Linux, Mac, or Windows, download the correct version for yours. For Linux, there's going to be a version that was compiled on Ubuntu 20.4 and another compiled on 24.04. So, you know, choose whichever one is closest for your OS. And then for Mac, there's one that was compiled on uh, Mac Mini Intel, and then another one that was compiled on a Mac Mini with Apple Silicone. So again, use the one that you're going to need for yours. Windows is just Windows. Whether you're Windows 10 or 11, doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's the same version. On the same note, if you go to Cosmic Clarity, there's going to be some information and everything. But uh, more importantly, there's going to be the initial download. There's a parent drive folder and also a mirror folder. And if you're just going to update individual files, there's an updating individual files as well, so you don't have to download the full uh, version again, but just click the folder. It's going to take you to a, a Google Drive where you can download uh, the latest releases, whether you have Linux, Windows, Mac OS, that's the Intel version, or the Apple Silicone version. If you already have Cosmic Clarity and clicking updating individual files, it'll take you to a GitHub repository where uh, whether you have like the, the Windows version, it has all the different files in it uh, in case you just are updating one of the executables or some of the neural net models. And that goes for all of them. There's a, a folder for Linux or the Apple Silicon or the Apple Intel ones. Uh, this could also be a great resource if you have a antivirus, especially Norton, and it wants to just remove files from your your download, you may have to just grab an individual file. If um, if you had an antivirus program, strip it out of your uh, download. Here we are in Mac. There's no install. You just double click the executable file and a terminal window is going to open up. And then in uh, Mac OS 15 on Apple Silicon, it's going to take it about a minute or two in order to uh, release it to actually run. Uh, it's it's actually something Mac OS 15 started doing for non-certified uh, developers to, I guess, discourage us from making software or something. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, if you see this, just chill and it will come up for you. And there it is, uh, start it up, no, no problems. Now moving over to Linux. Uh, I recommend running it from the terminal, so you can right-click, open in terminal, and then uh, period slash the name, city astro suite underscore Linux underscore Ubuntu, and then whichever version you're running, 20.04 or 24.04, hit enter. That way, if anything um, comes up error-wise, it's going to come up in the terminal, and you're going to be able to see what's going on. And there it is, up and running. So in Windows as well, when you open it, you get the terminal window. And this will be great for finding issues. And you can see kind of what it's doing in the background a lot of the time. So just, just go ahead and minimize that terminal window. But if you ever run into an issue, this is what you could refer back to and try to see what's, what's happening. The other question that comes up a lot for whatever reason is like, okay, how do I install it? There, there is no install. After you unzip the folder, like here's my unzip folder. 
for Windows, you get uh, these two files. For Mac, it's just uh, the Apple or the Intel version. And then for Linux, it's just the other two versions. There is no install. This is it. You just double click the thing and it runs. So that's 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 the whole program. Um, th there's there's no installation. Just put it in a folder somewhere where you don't have any uh, permission issues. A lot of people will just make a SETI Astro folder on their desktop and put it in there. Perfectly fine. Same thing goes for Cosmic Clarity. There is no install. The files are the program. Just make sure you unzip that folder to um, a spot that's not going to have permission issues. Maybe just a, something on your desktop that says Cosmic Clarity and call it good there. So we're going to go over interface and uh, general UI setup here. It's composed of a number of items up in a menu bar and then we have a whole bunch of toolbars both along the sides and the top. The toolbars themselves, you can click and move them around. Uh, they're not stuck there. You could even like move them to the sides, to the bottom. You can uh, rearrange them how you want. You could even kind of put them like this. Or you could just have them free floating uh, if you don't want them anywhere. So that is up to your customizability. We have file, themes, functions, geometry, slots, masks, star stuff, quick navigation, history, preferences, update, and an about me. So file has your basic open image, save as, undo, redo. You could save your entire project, which will save all the history, everything you have in your slots, everything you have your, in your masks. So you can uh, save your project and shut it down and then open SETI Astro Suite later and open your project and pick up where you left off. If you're also in the middle of a project, you can click new project and it'll clear everything out. Let's go over opening an image. You can open it a couple different ways. You can click the folder open. You can go file open image. You could also do things like drag a file over. So that'll, that'll also be in that functionality. You could also open multiple images at once. Let's just open, um, I don't know, these. And what it's going to do is it's going to open them in the next available slots. So now we have our multiple images open in uh, the first three slots. You could right click to clear that slot if you uh, just want to close a image down. You could rename that slot uh, and you could also sh show it as a preview if you have or you want to have multiple images open at once. If you're working multiple ones at once, you could have uh, those previews opened. Themes. I have a uh, pre-saved light and dark themes. And then there's also the custom theme option where you can create a new theme, you can apply a saved theme or reset the theme. Creating a new theme will run you through a series of options. It'll ask you to select the background color. It'll ask you what text color you want. Uh, you can update if you want some um, snazzy font. And then it's going to update the whole theme. Um, well, in, in my case, those ridiculous settings. This will be saved. So if you close SETI Astro Suite and open it, this theme will be saved. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to reset that theme. Functions, we'll do more detailed uh, videos on uh, the functions. That's really a lot of the heart and soul of SETI Astro Suite. Geometry is, it is what it says. It allows you to like invert an image. And that also has the shortcut control I. And you can see in the undo now, it says image inversion. And you can pull up the history as well. And you could even um, 
double click to see the various uh, stages of your history and you can click compare to current version and uh, you could actually have a little slider to see the difference between um, that saved state and the history and your current state. There's also the uh, normal ones, flipping it horizontal, vertical, doing a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation, and then rescale. Some programs call them resample, some call them um, resize. That's what this is. So this is if you're if you want to like downscale your whole image by half or make it twice as big, uh, that's a means of doing it in here. Slots will cover um, slots, but this is how your City S Suite stores all the different images you open. You saw when we opened three images at once, it just put them in the various slots. It allows you to have multiple images stored within SETI Astro Suite and in one go. Same with masks. You can create a mask, apply a mask, remove a mask, load and save masks. Uh, you have your various mask slots here. You also have your mask slots down here. We'll cover masks in a future video. So star stuff is another set of functions. So we have all these functions and then star stuff. Uh, they're kind of more grouped together based on their manipulation of stars, right? We're, this is stacking, mosaics, alignment, registration, plate solving, uh, viewing your PSF, uh, supernova asteroid hunter, star spike tool, things like that. Quick navigation, just a good way, especially if you have a smaller uh, low resolution monitor to jump from tab to tab to tab. We have all our tabs down here. We already covered history. Preferences, this is a, a bunch of different preferences that SETI Astro Suite will use. So if you have problems with Starnet or OSTAP or Cosmic Clarity, I may ask you, you know, hey, let, let me see your preferences. Where do you have this stuff stored at? And that's gonna help me troubleshoot as well. You can set a working directory, which is gonna help, you know, it's always going to open that folder when you're opening SAS. You can put in your astrometry API key, your location and all that stuff is, is in there as well. Update, you can check for updates from here. SETI Astro Suite also checks for updates at the initial opening of it as well. So if for some reason you didn't have internet connection early on when you're using SETI Astro Suite and then you uh, log into your internet provider, then you can check for updates there. And then there's a little bit of an about me. It has a, it has the current version number. You could directly go to my website, or if you're feeling so inclined, I got a, a direct link if you wanna, you know, th throw me throw me some change for a coffee or something. And then another portion of the layout, we have our different tabs. These are separate from the functions. These are like core main tabs in here for some, some heavy hitter items, including the, uh, the initial image viewer. A lot of tabs have uh, slidey bits that you can hide, slide, and in and out. And then on the very bottom, you're gonna see the name of the file you have. And then if it's generating files or whatever, it's, it's gonna update that name down here. It'll tell you what slot you're currently on as well. And then over in the lower right will be the image resolution and how many color channels it has. The toolbars themselves up here are just visual representations of the same menu bar options up here for functions, geometry slots, masks, star stuff. That is literally all, all of these, right? So in functions, you have all these with the icon labels with them so you can graphically see which one they are up here so you can uh, quickly select them. And, and like I said, you can you know, rearrange these kind of items how you want for your own, for your own style or how you like having your uh, graphical display set up here. I think we'll end this one here. This is going to be just part one, definitely just a uh, user interface and how to interact with SETI Astro Suite. Please comment, like, and subscribe.